In order to solve this problem, it's important to remember the general form of a logarithmic function, and that would be y is equal a uh, multiplied by log of b times x minus h uh, plus k, where h represents the movement of the function graphically, moving left or right, so the horizontal translations, and k represents the vertical translation, so up and down. So because it is being moved down 1, for example, k has a value of negative 1. And h, since we're moving it one unit to the right, h has a value of 1. So um, written out, we would have y is equal to log base 2 of x uh, minus 1 minus 1. So I basically take to the general format, and I replaced at h with 1 and k with negative 1. Now, because we're looking for the coordinates of the x-intercept, that means at the x-intercept, we have a y value of 0. So that means we can basically, uh, I'm just going to erase, oh, oops, I meant to say erase y here, and replace it with 0, and then solve for x. So the first thing I'm going to do is add 1 to both sides of the equation, canceling that out. And what we'll have is 1 is equal to log base 2 of x minus 1. Now at this point, I'm going to rewrite this equation um, so that it's an exponential function instead. And so that would be written as our base here, 2, to the power of 1 is equal to x minus 1. Well, that's pretty easy to solve. That means x is going to equal 3. So that means the x, uh, coordinates of our x-intercept would be 3, 0, which is option number 4. All right, that'll be it for this video, and thanks for visiting JD's preparation.